Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. This is your teacher Bilal Ahmed. Today in science, we learned about how can we care for environment, right? So can you see the litter in the beach, right? So have you seen litter where you live? You have to look around. Can you find the litter like this picture? And uh, today we learn how can we save the environment. So please guys look at this picture. So you have, you guys will need the science uh, learner's book. Okay, this is the lesson 1.5 on page 27. Okay, so guys look at this picture. This is the beach. In this beach, uh, we have uh, dirty water coming from the city and this dirty water mixing with the clean water that makes the animal poison and sick. And after they can die. So this is bad thing for the environment. Now look at the litter, the paper is wasting and the bags, okay shopping bags the bottles okay and uh, look at these packs right so this is all uh, littering okay so people do bad things for the environment you guys can see the paper the shopping bag the, the cartons right so so also we uh, talked about uh, what people can make good things for the environment. So people can plant uh, new trees. This is good for environment and people and animals have good food to eat. The next thing, people make buildings to live safe and people make the forest clean. So here are the good things people do for environment. Okay, the next thing, what people do bad things for environment. Now look at this park, the litter in park. This, is, this park is full of litter. See the packages, the paper, the carton, the can, right? So this is bad thing for environment. <clears throat> and look at the beach, the beach is dirty. Who did this people? and the dirty water from the pipe. So here are the three things people do for a bad <clears throat> for the environment, okay? So the first question one is on your science learner's book. How can this litter, can you see the litter, harm the animals and plants? Yes, this food, poison them and kill their food, okay? So animals don't have food anymore. Good, they don't have good food anymore. And uh, so they have, they are going to die. They will die, okay? Because the bad environment and the people, people don't litter in the bin they litter outside the environment. Question two is, what can we do to protect animals and plants? How can we save the animals and plants? Simple, just stop littering. Whenever you see the litter around you, pick up and put in the bin. The next thing we done in activity uh, you have to draw or photograph what you see. One, how could people care for the environment better? Simple, don't litter. Just use the pin. Two, why do people drop litter? Because they think this is the very easy thing they can do for the environment. So they will not look around and find the garbage find a bin sorry so they just simple throw anywhere 
three. What could you do to help? You have to recycle papers. So what could you do to help? You have to just recycle things in the bin, okay? So recycle mean the things you can use again, right? Such as paper or plastic and glass bottles. So this is a recycle, okay? So recycle, here is the icon for recycle. It's mean you can use things again, such as papers, glass bottles, metals, and plastic. That means recycle, you can use things again. So here the question is, what are the children in the picture doing? So look at the kids and uh, they are going to hold this bin, right? And you can guys see the icon. So these guys are helping environment. They are picking plastic, papers, cartons, metals, right? And when they pick, they can use again, right? They can make new papers. They can make things from the paper. You can use plastic and bottles for making walls. You can put flowers in it, right? So in this way, you can recycle plastic. Okay, which metal can you recycle in school? So in school, we have uh, papers, right? We have books, we have plastic made of, uh, sorry, desk and tables made of plastic. Okay, and uh, so, so we can recycle papers by recycling Okay, you can use again such as you can help your friends. Okay, you can share the book. Whenever you see my book is going to finish. Okay, so you can share your book to your friends. In this way, you can help to save the trees. Okay, uh, because we, people will not make uh, new trees to cut and they will not make papers. So you can help your friend, you can make things from the paper right okay you can make objects you can use the plastic for making walls so there are many ways you guys can use again things okay the next thing here we have uh, that activity okay uh, in this activity we have this park a yard sorry this is the yard and uh, this uh, yard is full of dirt and uh, full of litter Right, can you see the papers, cartons, bottle, plastic, and the planting are getting sick. Okay, they don't have, uh, and people do not put water. Okay, so whenever animals eat uh, food, so they get poison, right? So what we can do to make this place clean and uh, safe. So first of all, you can pick the litter. Okay, pick all the litter and put in the bin. Put in the basket. Uh, plant uh, new trees and uh, give water to this plant. Right, and uh, you have to. Okay, you have to make the homes for the these birds. They can keep feel safe right or you can use a signboard where written do not litter here right so people will not make litter in your yard so you can use this signboard so planting trees and remove litter and adding signboard help to remove and stop littering okay in the last we learn about uh, uh, what can we do for the environment? Okay, so here we had activity during class. So first place is school. Okay, okay, school car and park area. So in the school car and park area, uh, what do you think? This is good for living things. 
school car and uh, power carriers are not good for living things okay this is not a good place for living thing you have to predict uh, because some park is uh, not have enough plants okay but some parks are full of green so they they can live and eat food right but school car is not good for living things next thing is is it good habitat uh, no uh, the school car there are no plants right is there litter yeah, some people make the park and school do letters, right? They throw papers and plastic inside the car or inside the park. How could we improve this place? We can remove the litter. We can pick the litter and uh, saw some seeds. We can make new plants. So you have to find a place and uh, find out what is the problem and how can we fix that problem so that was a survey in the last uh, we have to check your progress on your science learners book where we just review the things we learn in the unit one the first question which two animals might live on or near the seashore here is the seashore so which animal can live here what is the good environment for these animals so obviously fish and crabs can live in this place but lion cod rabbit earthworm they need another environment they cannot survive here because they don't have enough food to eat so fish and crabs are uh, good uh, okay they can survive here question two is <clears throat> which four things does the tree need for this habitat okay so here so plants need soil can you see soil plants need water plants need the sunlight and plants need air here are the four basic things plants need to grow in this habitat right so this plant is can grow well because this is a good place good environment to grow okay the third question is look at this woman look at this uniform and what is what she's wearing a where does this woman work she works in the mine can you see the mine she works in the mine where to sorry what tools might she use so tools what things she used to dig the mine she need a shovel okay the shovel help to dig and take out the coal rocks what rock might she dig up so look at her face and uh, you as you can see the coal she's working in the coal mine and uh, the last question number four was why do we use slate for roof here is the roof okay in the house why do we use slate for the house because this is <clears throat> because this is waterproof the water cannot be absorbable okay the water cannot go inside the rocks so this is waterproof uh, rock but some rocks water can be absorbed a slate is good okay for uh, predict sorry for stopping water why do people make nature reserves because safe place to live, okay? Because nature is safe place to live. So that's why people use rocks from the nature to make beautiful and safe house. So that's our today's lesson. You guys learn about how can we take care for environment. You learn what are the good things and bad things people do for environment. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Have a good day.